Okay, so in this video, we're going to be going over how to utilize the Schedules app as an end user. Now, if you may recall, in one of our previous videos, we went over how to view schedule data using the Point Graphics app. And as you can see here, since our awk mode point is bound to a schedule, we can click on the schedule icon to get a quick summary of what schedule it's bound to. Now I want to show you how to reach your schedules using related bubbles. As long as the equipment has a point that is bound to a schedule, you will be able to see that information within the equipment's related bubbles. Not only do you get to see that the equipment has a schedule, but you also get to see exactly which schedule it's bound to. To open the schedule, go ahead and click on the schedules related bubble. That will immediately bring up the schedule app in the far right apps menu. To begin editing any of your schedule's weekly events, all you have to do is click and hold, and this will bring up two handlebars at each end of the weekly event. This will allow you to adjust the start and end time for that particular day. Once you've adjusted the weekly event, make sure you scroll to the very top and hit the apply button to finalize your changes. As you may notice on the very top, you have three different options or three different views. You have your weekly view, you have your event view, and you have a point view. If you click on the event option, you'll be able to see all of the events currently set for that schedule. And you also have the option to edit, add, or delete them as needed. If you switch over to the point view, you'll see a live query of all the points that are currently bound to the schedule. As an additional bonus, you also have the option to add in more points or to select existing points and move them to another schedule of your choosing. If you choose to move them, a new list will come up showing you the available schedules that match that point type. All you have to do is select a schedule and hit the move button to transfer the selected points to the new schedule. Okay, so as you may know, everything in FinStack that can be done on a desktop can also be done in a mobile setting. So let's switch over now to the mobile view and take a look at how schedules work in there. To bring up the Schedules app, all you need to do is press the menu button on the bottom right and then select the Schedules app. If you are navigated down to a certain context, you will immediately see any schedules that belong to that particular context. If you wish to see all of your schedules, simply press on the View All Schedule option. Alright, so let's go over how to create a new schedule. To begin creating a new schedule, press down on the Create New Schedule option. Start off by naming your schedule and then selecting the type of schedule you want to make. In this example, we're going to be making a Boolean schedule. On the next screen, you can select a default value. So go ahead and select which one you want and then hit the OK button once more to take you to the point selection screen. In this section, you'll be able to select from a list of schedulable points that match the schedule type. If the point is already bound to a schedule, you'll see additional text next to the point name that shows which schedule the point is bound to. Go ahead and select the points that you'd like to bind to the schedule and then hit OK. Once your schedule is made, go ahead and press down on it and select the Edit option to begin editing your new schedule. To begin drawing out a weekly event, hit the plus button on the top left corner and then simply press down on any of the days within the schedule. Use the handlebars to set the start and end times for the event, and then once you are ready, hit the apply button and choose a value for that event. Now we have several tools to help you set up your schedules as quickly as possible. Let's go ahead and utilize one of those tools to help us copy over the day we just drew to the remaining days of the week. To access this tool, press on the menu button, then select the schedule you are working on, and press down on the tools option. Scroll down and select the Duplicate Schedule Day tool and hit OK. Select the day you want to duplicate, which in this case is Monday, and then select the days you want to duplicate that weekly event to. Once you hit OK, the clone should immediately take effect and display on your schedule view. Next, let's go ahead and create an event for the schedule by switching over to the Events tab and pressing down on the plus icon near the top left of the screen. This will bring up a form for you to fill out. The event name section allows you to type in a name for your event. The event value section will be the value that is written when the event is active. And then you get to choose what the event is based on. In this case, we're going to select a simple range, which requires a start and an end date. 
Lastly, it gives you the option to select a start time and end time. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and make this an all day event. Once you're done, click on the check mark icon on the top right corner to finalize your event. And voila, your brand new event should appear there ready to go. Keep in mind, everything we did on the desktop can be done in the mobile and vice versa. That's one of the benefits of having a software that is mobile friendly. Alright, so we hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or any feedback you'd like to share with us, please feel free to contact us at support at j2inn.com. Thanks for watching.